Hi guys, so continuing my body type series, I got so many questions about do men also have body types? And at that moment I didn't study it pretty thoroughly, but I remembered that I saw that in the internet somewhere. So I was searching for that and I found that list. Yes, David Kibbe did type several famous men as one of 13 body types and we're gonna go to their pictures now and gonna analyze why he did so and what do we see because I was also trying to understand that it's not easy because female bodies we can see the shape of the hips the waist the shoulders the chest and all that situation in men's world not so much to choose from as we might think we definitely won't see our glass men right first of all let's remember what is this all theory based on it's based on yin and yang energy i'm gonna leave the links down below on my body type series videos and on my body types test video yin meaning female soft energy rounded small delicate short light and there's young energy male energy meaning strong tall lean vertical angular sharp so everybody doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman they have a certain combination of those two things how can it be helpful if we see the body types of men first of all many people have so many fixed ideas some people say if man didn't shave he doesn't look classy wait not always some men yes some men look much classier with a slight beard why is that that's just because of the body types okay let's start so there are five basic body types and almost each of those five types have its softer version and sharper version so the first body type is a dramatic body type kind of a hundred percent young energy male energy angular tall lean strong sharp hard that's a power that's a strength that's a drama they look angular heavy the height of a man also matters but what is more important for us is the bone structure is the first thing that you see when you look at that man because some men they can be very tall but when you look at them from the distance like the proportion of their head to their body the length of their arms and legs can be built so that you don't see that length and that vertical line immediately when you look at them you might see width you might see width here at the shoulders so the first impression if your eyes are well trained and you see the difference in small details you definitely will notice that sorry if i pronounce some names wrong i'm russian first dramatic man we're gonna look at is benedict cumberbatch so what do you see immediately when you look at that man i see a vertical line first of all a vertical line on his face on his shoulders on his arms his cheekbones are pretty vertical right they're not wide they are vertical very vertical look at his chin look at his lips his eyes are slightly shrinked pretty small look at that line that he has going from the face to the neck and goes down to the torso and i don't actually see the width too much you know the width of his arms i see the vertical line of course when i say 100 percent young i don't mean 100 percent because in our universe we don't have absolutes we have a gradient scale so that's the impression we get from his bone structure that's the majority of his characteristics next man is bird lancaster yeah he does look pretty athletic but you can immediately see that vertical line and that masculine face these men definitely are very masculine that's what i noticed and also what i noticed is i imagined if i'm doing makeup for those guys just to make them look like a woman and those are the hardest ones to make a woman out of just because the bone structure and outlines of their body is very very brutal so they will still look very manly so you can see again his vertical lines and his nose very strong very angular they consist of angularity charlton heston again you can see that straight nose straight horizontal brows they're very strong very manly very brutal that's him on a beach we don't necessarily see the width we see the length of his arms the length of his legs the length of his torso daniel craig yeah believe it or not david kibbe called him a dramatic because of that brutalness very defined bone structure very angular very sharp errol flynn also you can see his vertical line how long he is how long he looks and you can see slightly chiseled slightly slim parts of his face smallish eyes again slightly shrinked eyes pretty strong and straight nose pretty strong 
chin, thin lips. George Hamilton also looks pretty lean, strong and vertical and pretty brutal, you know, you can see his face, very manly. Jack Palance, yes, his face is wider, but you do see that angularity. You can see that he's tall, masculine, he's big. Sam Shepard, you can see his vertical lines along with that brutalness in his face. Strong and straight brows, strong nose, strong lips. The whole expression of his face is pretty strong. Ricardo Montalban. You also can see that strong parts of his face. You even can see his hairline, how sharp it is. It gives him much sharper appearance. They have very recognizable features of their faces. Sean Connery. That's actually a second James Bond who is dramatic. Along with that brutalness, they do look elegant. So the majority of their features is young energy, like male energy. So as you could see, they're not necessarily having that white shoulders. We're gonna talk about this later. Now, if we add some softness to dramatic. Dramatics, they have pretty sharp bones and sharp facial bones and they have flesh on those bones and that flesh can be thicker. It can look thicker. So they look slightly rounder, but they still have pretty sharp bone structure. They're like dramatics, but soft dramatics. That's why we call them soft dramatics. Let's go to soft dramatics. Christian Bale. You can see that vertical line again. You can see those sharp bones, sharp features. Look at his brows. Look at his eyes. Look at his nose his sharp chin. All that is very dramatic, but on top of that, he has some flesh, some softer and thicker skin kind of looking, you know? They don't look dry. They look slightly juicier. Clark Gable. He's also tall. He looks brutal. He looks very manly. However, he has some softness. He has some cheeks, even his nose, you know? It's slightly softer. He has rounder outlines on his body. That shoulders it's slightly tapered here, those muscles. They're slightly softer here. You can see Clark Gable's arms here. They are softer, big eyes. His lips are slightly bigger. Dean Martin, vertical line, first of all. But there is some softness. Look at his lips. They're slightly coming forward. His brows line, his eyes. Normally, the eyes are bigger. It changes from time to time, but we talk just in general. So we can see the thicker skin. Even their hands, their wrists, they are not dry. John Travolta, you can also see tall vertical line, softer lips, softer nose, softer cheeks, softer outline of the face. Matthew McConaughey. Again, look at that tapered shoulders. Some men can have very strong and very angular square shoulders. That gives a different appearance. In this case, it's softened. And even though he got a lot of gym work, you can still see some softness on his torso. Just look at that skin. He's not dry looking. Nicolas Cage is soft dramatic. Their yin energy, their yin female energy is in their flesh. Okay, now let's go to natural body type. Natural body type also consists of angles, but those angles are not sharp, but blunt, like that. That is a blunt angle. Not sharp, but not rounded. Something in the middle, like blunt. This is an impression we get looking on those bodies. Naturals normally do look muscular. Even if they don't work out too much, they still look slightly athletic. They have smaller butt, wider shoulders area, irregular angular bone structure, and blunt angles. Normally, they are moderately tall or very tall. It's interesting because on David Kibbe's list, I didn't find any pure naturals. I found whether a softer version of them or more dramatic version. So let's first look on the naturals that have some drama in them, just because it's still close to that dramatic subject that we just discussed. So David Kibbe is calling that type flamboyant natural. That's actually a pretty cool name, I think, for the body type because it really opens the impression that we get. And these guys are also tall or very tall, super tall. And besides of that vertical line, we also notice some width on top. Bruce Jenner, when you see their legs, their arms, everything looks kind of sporty, kind of athletic. Straight hips, small butt normally, and quite a tall part. Their face is not as brutal as dramatic. So it's slightly rounded young. Clint Eastwood. So you definitely can see that vertical line and that width on top, that massive 
chest area pretty blunt lips still strong faces but pretty blunt and slightly rounded faces we are now going from a very masculine man downwards to more delicate men they're not as dry as chiseled and as sharp dick van dyke they can have pretty irregular shapes on their faces big noses or wide noses squarish chins squarish shoulders very often they have big prominent features slightly squarish harrison ford Hugh Jackman, you can immediately see the width that he has here, like his neck is strong, tall and strong up here. But you can see that even in his face he's not as brutal as those guys. So now there's another part of Flamboyant Naturals that had a question mark in the list. Probably David Kibbe didn't have a chance to see many of their pictures or the pictures of their bodies. And this is just an impression that he got from a couple of pictures. Calvin Klein, Michael Landon, vertical line and width. Tom Selleck, tall and wide, slightly blonde shoulders, not sharp. Now let's go to soft naturals. Soft naturals have more delicate bone structure. That's what I noticed. And as I said, I was imagining how I can make a woman out of them with makeup. And these guys are already slightly easier to make a woman of, but still not 100%. So these guys have irregular shapes, also blunt bones. They don't look as tall. They don't look as vertical. They look as a moderate size, pretty wide chest area. They can have pretty wide faces. However, those faces have already slightly more delicate, more accurate bones. Slightly cuter. Okay, let's go. Bing Crosby. He's soft natural. And you can see how much softer and cuter and simpler his face looks comparing to dramatics. And he does look smaller, even in that picture, when we just see his shoulders and his head. Brad Pitt. He is soft natural. So in this picture you can see he still looks pretty athletic, pretty strong, he has wide bones, slightly blunt bones, but he has some flesh, some flesh, some skin on the cheeks, even on his body, even though he worked out much, but we still can see that softness. His nose, his lips, everything is slightly cuter. So this is that yin portion. Gene Kelly. Yeah, he does look wide, but he's not necessarily looking pretty long, you know, his limbs don't look super long. Uh, we. As soon as we look at him, we do see the appearance of pretty strong men with wide chest, wider shoulders, that healthy glow, that simple smile. George Clooney, you can definitely see slightly more delicate bones. Smaller, cute, not super harsh. And when you look at him when he's standing, you also don't see that he's like super long. You see the width and you see moderate size rectangular rather than like super long vertical line. Michael Hall can also see that even in his shoulders, the bones are more delicate. He still looks muscular, slightly wider jaw here, slightly blunt chin. You can see how his torso goes down to smaller hips, like hips are narrower normally. Robert Conrad, you already see the width, wider cheekbones, you can already see like a cuter face again. Still we have those muscles, those shoulders, that bigger chest area. Tom Cruise. And in this picture you can see Tom Cruise and another soft natural, Scarlett Johansson. You can see them standing close to each other, you kind of see that slightly rounded, but at the same time slightly angular faces, pretty moderate sizes of their bodies. He's still wider here at that shoulder area. He's at tapered shoulders, that is softness in him. And then maybe soft natural. Again, soft natural with a question mark that I could see in that list. Alan Alda. You can see him younger and older. Gene Hackman. Joe Namath. Again, some width and some flesh at the same time. John Ruggins. John Wayne. Young and older. O.J. Simpson. Robert Redford. Again, slightly cutish face. So that's it for naturals. For some of you who is interested in my music life, I finally have my recordings for sale. Google Play, iTunes, Amazon, I'm gonna leave the links down below. You can subscribe on my music channel. I will be very happy to see you there because new songs are coming soon. And many of you already subscribed there and I'm so happy to see you there, you know, like when you're commenting, that's such a cool thing for me. Bye guys.